And we're back right now answering your financial questions, specifically focusing on saving up for college. It's something a lot of kids are worried about, but also to a lot of parents watching us. That's right. Student loans, we know, is a big burden here. And uh, so that's why we have Dave Tibbetts, a financial uh, advisor from Charles Schwab. <laughs> that's a hard one to say. Thanks so much for waking up with us. We appreciate it. We have a ton of questions and things to go over. So we're going to actually have you on twice here in this hour. We'll uh, break it up a little bit because we have so much to talk about. But first, these are little props here. We're going to play Factor some fiction. games. Yeah, Factor Fiction uh, about student loans and saving up for school. So okay. you're going to read some facts or myths and then we'll tell you if it's Factor Fiction. Yep, so I'm going to ask guess. you guys, I've okay. got a few questions for you. I'll okay. ask you the question. You can answer Factor Fiction okay. and then I'll let you know if you're right or wrong. Okay, okay. okay. Alex Trebek we'll over there. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, first question. <laughs> Uh, parents should prioritize college savings over retirement since they likely have less time to save for college. Ooh, what do you guys say? good, good question. I'm going to go with fiction, though. What about the parents? Too. Fiction, that's or, exactly right. Oh, actually, okay, good. Yeah. So we're good. Okay, yeah. so one and one. Great okay. start, guys. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you want to take care of your children. Grandparents want to take care of yeah. their children, so you always want to do that. But it's actually not true. You really should uh, save for your own retirement and make sure you're set there. Because if you think about it, you're not going to be able to have a student loan or get a scholarship for retirement. Yes, exactly. very that's true. Okay, yeah. okay, good one. Okay. All right, let's see her. All right, ready for number two? Yes. All right. Today's newborns will need more than $300,000 to attend an in-state public university for four years. Wow. I'm going to go with fact. I'm going to go with fact, too. It you, sounds big, but I'm going to go with fact. Yeah, yeah it, it is big, and you guys wow. are right. Two for two. Way to two, go. And that's for an in-state school. In-state. I can't believe that's, that's alarming. Honestly, that's alarming. That's a yeah. lot of money. Think of U of A. So, yeah. So, right now, it's about $23,000 a year all in for an in-state public school. Uh, so, it's around $100,000. Um, think about 18 years from now with a 6% inflation rate yeah. for college. That's what we figure it at at Schwab. Um, it's going to be $300,000 for in-state, uh, but public, I mean private, Six hundred thousand dollars, about oh, double that. Boy, wow, that's a lot. More than a half. Does this oh my gosh. Room and board at least. Everything, or? yeah. Okay, at yeah, least right. Everything. All that's still right. a lot of money. Uh, I don't know. That's yeah. That's still yeah. a lot. That's okay. A lot. Okay. Next yeah. question. Well, okay. Um, parents should begin saving for college once their child reaches age ten. Fact or fiction? I'm gonna go with fiction. They probably should do it when they're born, right? Uh, that's what my age guess. ten. It is by age ten. That's the question. Yeah. I'm gonna say fiction. That's, okay, so you that's got hard by ten. By ten. So you're on a roll. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. so say by ten. Uh, really, say eight years we could be saving. Yeah. Okay. You should really save as long as possible, yeah. as soon as possible, and as much as possible. Really compare it to a 401k or retirement okay. account. Uh, what you want to do is really put as much in and start as early as possible and as much as you can afford. So, right. Uh, you want to do it right away if you can, provided your retirement, your personal retirement, like we talked about earlier, is already all set and taken care of. Okay. We've only got 30 seconds, so okay. let's just do one more. Um, we'll get through this one and then. Uh, and then we'll you'll be back, back with us. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, let's go with this one then. A 529 plan allows potential savings to grow tax deferred. Fact or fiction? Oh my gosh, a 5 oh, dad, I don't, I don't even understand dad, this watching, question. I wish he was here. He I'm going to go with I'm going to say fact. No, I'll just go with fiction then to Okay, be different. just to mix it up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're right on this yes. one, Nick. Okay. Uh, that is a fact. Okay. Uh, the best some of the best <laughs> things about 529 plans is you get to have savings tax def tax deferred oh. and when you make withdrawals for qualified education right. expenses. Those are tax-free as well, so okay. it's the, it is the best way we feel at Schwab to uh, to save for college. Okay. All right, Dave, thank Great you so segment. much. Gonna, I know. Yeah, we're going to have you back on in the next half hour. So if you're watching, stay tuned because he's got a lot more financial know-how and savvy yeah. he's going to share with us. Thank yeah, thanks so much. Awesome. Okay, we'll be right thank back. You.